we're going to learn two ways to name alkynes. We're going to look at a common system, which is used for simple molecules, and then the IUPAC system, which can be used for both simple and the more complex alkyne molecules. The general strategy for doing this is you name the substituents bonded to the alkyne alphabetically, followed by the term acetylene. That is based on acetylene, which is this two carbon alkyne. So it's the simplest alkyne possible. CH bonded to CH. You may have heard the term acetylene because it has an incredibly high combustion temperature, so it's widely used in welding applications. So if you've heard of an acetylene torch, uh, that's actually this molecule here that's being combusted. So if we look at our example structure, here's the alkyne portion, so that's the acetylene. Then you want to identify substituents attached to it. So here we have, this is an isopropyl group. And here we have an ethyl group. So now we alphabetize those. E comes first. We have ethyl, then I'll leave a space. Isopropyl, and then acetylene. Um, it's not a huge deal, but generally with common names, you do leave spaces.